All right, welcome back. Uh, as you can see under the camera, I have cut away some additional material from my vinyl block. And I use my trusty old number two lino cutting tool, which is my favorite. I know you can't see very many differences here. I'm gonna get ready and ink this with a black ink, my second color, and print it on top of my first color orange. So remember, the areas that I cut away will stay orange, and of course the white will stay white. Anything that I did not cut away will turn black, or something like black. Now I may have put a little too much ink here on the bench hook. When you're rolling out the ink, you really should have a surface that's a lot like an orange peel. If you ever look at the bumpy quality of an orange peel, that kind of gives you an idea of what to look for. If I think I have a little too much, it's not exactly an orange peel, I have a scrap piece of paper here. I might just remove some of the ink from the brayer and carefully fold that in on itself and throw that away. I'll go back now that I've removed some of the ink and let's see if I can get something a little closer to an orange peel texture. Not bad, a little bit better. I don't think I have as much ink on there and that's a good thing. We don't wanna over ink any part of this because then my nice lines will block up and they won't be clear anymore. So again, I'm gonna very gently, whoops, see that little guy right there? He's gonna cause some issues if I don't get rid of him. So you be sure and pick up these little vinyl shavings of yours and throw those away in the trash can. Now, let's go ahead and ink him up. You can see the image in black as I go over this very lightly. I'm not pressing very hard. I don't wanna block up any of my finer lines. A very different look than it was with the red early on. And you can probably see there's a lot more of the surface cut away, but all the area not cut away will turn black. Now, remember the brayer goes on the bench hook, the handle of the brayer, not on the ink, but the head of the brayer, the rolling portion on the ink so it doesn't get anything else, uh, transfer to anything else. Now remember, I need to kind of match my top corners here. I have that original pencil line. I know this is the top right there. So very carefully turning this over and aligning the best I can right along that pencil line. I can still see it. Pressing down so the paper doesn't move. And then remember, we have another tool here called your Baron. Let me see if I can move that carefully so it's a little bit more under the camera. The Baron for pressing but lightly around and around and around. Don't wanna to press too hard because if, that, if there's too much ink on that block, I don't wanna squish it and make it real smudgy and yucky. So here we go. Let's take a peek at this. I'm gonna put the Baron down out of the way of the ink. Let's peek here and see. Well, registration wasn't too bad. You can see it's pretty dramatic not just dramatic because of the combination of red and white contrasting with, uh, or red and black contrasting with a white background, but also for the fact that there's a lot of interesting line work going on. Now the top wasn't properly registered, so the black didn't fit the red perfectly. I see a little off registration down here, but for this kind of image, I don't think it really much matters. I'm gonna try it one more time and see if I can get the next set, the next set of colors, black and red, to register a little more carefully. This one is done. One more time, take a thin layer of black ink, put it on top. You gotta be very careful to watch to see where exactly you're putting it. Try not to get it on the table. We don't want that ink to transfer to the table and other things. Just a thin layer. Lay the brayer back down. Don't let the brayer ink get on the table. Here's another image right here. Again, I kind of see, I didn't quite hit the pencil line earlier, so I'm gonna to try to match to these two corners. Let's see if I can do it. Maybe, let's lay that down. Registration looks pretty good. I can kind of tell right now, looking at the edges, you can take your time to look at the edges too. Oops, there's another one of those little guys. Get him out of the way. Remember those little scraps need to go in the trash, okay? So around and around with the Baron. Not pressing that hard. We're gonna peek in just a moment to see if we got the ink to transfer from the vinyl block to the image. And let's see if my registration on this one is any better. Now I really only need one decent print from you that I can photograph or have you photograph and submit as your final. That's called pulling a print right there. It still looks like I'm off register down there, pretty much like the first one. 
It's not too bad. I'm just going to continue going on. I have three more of these prints in red to put black on top of, and I'll be done with my addition. Remembering I only need one good print, but if I can get three or four or five good prints, uh, that's uh, multiples of the same image, all of the same quality, that's what printmaking is all about. Okay, now you try.